Generalized Anxiety, and the What If Game. Generalized Anxiety Disorder is an excessive worry or anxiety over several aspects of life, such as work, social relationships, or financial matters. Because there's no clearly identified thing or situation causing the anxiety, this places the person in a constant state of hypervigilance, always looking for threat and danger. Generalized anxiety disorder affects almost 7 million people, or 3% of the U.S. population. Women are two times more likely to experience generalized anxiety disorder than men. Individuals with generalized anxiety disorder find it difficult to control their worry. They may worry more than seems warranted for the particular situation, or may expect the worst to happen even when there is no apparent reason for concern. Generalized anxiety disorder is diagnosed when a person finds it difficult to control their worry on more days than not for at least six months and has three or more symptoms such as feeling tense, having difficulty concentrating, fearing losing control, being rejected, and experiencing confusion. A common problem with generalized anxiety disorder is catastrophizing. This can generally take two forms. The first of these is making a catastrophe out of a situation. For example, if you're a salesperson and haven't made a sale in a while, you may believe you are a complete and utter failure and you will lose your job. In reality, it may only be a temporary situation and there are things that you can do to change it. Another example is believing that if you make one small mistake at your job, you may get fired. This kind of catastrophizing takes a current situation and gives it a truly negative spin. The second type of catastrophizing is closely linked to the first, but it's more of a mental and it's more future oriented. This kind of catastrophizing occurs when we look to the future and anticipate all the things that are going to go wrong. When we create a reality around these thoughts, such as anything that can go wrong will go wrong. In reality, because we believe something will go wrong, we will end up sabotaging ourselves and actually make it go wrong. Even when people with generalized anxiety disorder spend a lot of time thinking about their problems, they usually don't complete the thought all the way through, and so they make errors in their judgment. To help complete those thoughts in a more rational and logical way, to a healthier conclusion, let's play the what-if game. Imagine an overwhelmed parent who says, I'm afraid I won't have enough time tonight to get everything done. Their friend, who is a very healthy and rational person, says, everything? The parent says, yes, I have to do laundry, then dinner, then clean the kitchen, then make cookies for the bake sale, then get the kids' lunches ready. And of course, the friend says, what if you didn't have enough time to get everything done? The parent replies, I'll have to stay up late and I'll lose more sleep. And the friend says, what if you didn't get the cookies done? Well, the kids would hate me. And the friend says, what if your kids did get upset at you? And the parent says, I'd feel bad, but I guess I could buy some cookies. By asking what if, you force yourself to really look at a situation not as extreme as you imagine it to be and to come up with some alternative ways to solve the problem. You could say that people with generalized anxiety disorder are already playing the what if game because they're always worrying about what if bad things happen. This version of the game gives a direction towards a positive end. A hallmark of generalized anxiety disorder is that people feel out of control. They're always a victim. You can take back your control by confronting your anxiety. Practice saying these things in a very strong, demanding voice. What if I don't have enough money to pay the bills? What if I don't finish my report on time? What if my friend never speaks to me again? What if I do get in a car accident? Sometimes people think that if they say something out loud or tell someone else, their symptoms will get worse. The truth is that you usually hear just how irrational your thoughts really are. You can use several of the tools in the Freedom from Anxiety program to help you manage generalized anxiety disorder. The section on neuroresilience will assist you in calming down your over-anxious brain and body. Breathing and relaxation dramatically enhance your ability to control your thoughts. Rethink will teach you new skills to deal with catastrophizing 
and how to deal with perfectionism, which is a very common problem for people with generalized anxiety disorder. Finally, focusing on your identity in the spirit section will address the roots of any victim mentality.